the boosted bullet, the boosted scoot, the boosted little, and a Tony Hawk boosted board. It turns out that Boosted was working on a lot of products behind the scenes. I've obtained a handful of verified exclusive images of unreleased projects and prototypes that have never been seen outside of Boosted. And these come from multiple anonymous sources. For those that may have missed it, Boosted went out of business. I made a video about it, it's linked below. I suggest you watch that first and then watch this video. We recently found out that Lime, yes, that Lime, purchase the remnants of Boosted, and we'll talk about that later in the video. Let's first discuss these unreleased products. The first thing I'm going to share with you is the Boosted bike. Yes, Boosted was working on a bike. In fact, two specific models, the Bullet and the P2. Based on these photos, the bikes appear to be lightweight and minimalist in design. I bet they were super powerful given that these are Boosted products. I can't tell what type of throttle Boosted was using here, whether it was a sort of motorcycle hand crank throttle or the thumb throttle found in the Rev, or maybe it didn't have a throttle at all and was just pedal assist. But we can see from this image that the difference in models was likely a bigger battery, which probably resulted in longer range. Now, was this battery removable? It's likely. I bet these hub motors were the same or very similar to the hub motors that Boosted used in the Rev. Powerful and very torquey. Unfortunately, these bikes will probably never get released, but it's cool to see that they had functional prototypes. Up next, we'll talk about the Boosted Scoot. I've only got this one render of the thing, and to me, it looks like the design wasn't totally finalized. Was this an early version of the Rev? Was it a budget version of the Rev? Notice the design differences. Different wheels, no fender over the back wheel, different folding mechanism, hard to tell if this one even folded, different frame construction. Looks to be way sleeker and lighter, but alas, we'll never know. Not sure if any prototypes of the Scoot existed. Again, I just have this one render. Moving to the right of this graphic, we see something called the Boosted Little. It's effectively a mini version of a Boosted V2. The decks are very similarly shaped, just different sizes. Notice that the battery and the motor controller are separate in the Boosted Little, which makes the middle of the board flexible. The flexibility of the long boards makes for a very comfortable and shock absorbent ride. I think this is what the Boosted Mini should have been instead of the Boosted Mini that we got. I was never a big fan of the mini decks. Yeah, the kicktail is nice for picking up the board, but the concavity of these minis made for an uncomfortable riding experience over long periods of time. I think the Boosted Little would have made a great travel board because it has the same benefits of the long boards just with a smaller footprint. Notice the single motor though. I'd like to think that Boosted was gonna offer a dual motor version of the Boosted Little because they phased out those single motor boards a while ago, but again, we'll never know. In my opinion, the coolest thing that Boosted was working on is a board called the Boosted Ultimate. It had four motors, two in the back and then two up front. I can imagine the torque on this thing was probably insane. I bet it had crazy acceleration and maybe even a rider mode six and yet probably a higher top speed. And I bet it would have probably cost it around $2,000 and you bet I would have been riding one. I would love to know if Boosted made any of these ultimate prototypes. I wonder if we'll see any of the prototypes I've talked about so far end up on eBay someday. I've also wondered if I can theoretically mod one of my boards to have four motors. Would that require using two controllers? Are Boosted boards even hackable? If you know, definitely let me know in the comments. Up next, Boosted made a Tony Hawk edition Boosted board, complete with blue wheels, a birdhouse logo, and a deck that we have never seen from Boosted before. And get this, I've got exclusive images of this thing in the flesh. The deck is slightly different from the render, and the wheels are a different color, and the logos are placed a bit differently, but the Tony Hawk Boosted board was very much a real product. And from what I understand, it was far along in the development process, hence the photos of this thing in reality. This thing looks so much fun to ride. A true Boosted cruiser board. But note, it's different than the Boosted Little. The shapes of the decks are pretty different, and the battery and the motor controller on the Tony Hawk board are connected like we've seen on the minis. I would love to add this Tony Hawk Boosted board to my collection because it's somewhere out there. And last on my list, but certainly not least, 
is a boosted board with a built-in LED bar around the entire board. Really quick, you may recall a video I made a few years ago where I DIY'd an LED boosted board myself, but Boosted was working on a deck with these LEDs somehow embedded in the board itself. We saw an image of this surface on Reddit recently, but I've got my own exclusive photo of this board glowing white. It appears these two photos were taken resting against the same table, but notice the orange wheels in my photo and the gray wheels in the Reddit photo. I think it goes without saying how insanely cool it would have been to have one of these boards. Aside from the aesthetics and the endless programming potential for animated light shows, this would have been really good for visibility at night. After all, it took Boosted years to release proprietary headlights and a taillight. The metadata on my image shows that this photo was taken in January of 2018, months before the V3 Boosted boards were released. Hardware is hard, and it appears they couldn't get these fully functional because they never released. So those are the prototypes that I have to share with you in this video. I don't think any of these unreleased products will ever see the light of day, pun intended, but under new ownership, anything's possible. The news of Lime acquiring Boosted comes from a lengthy Verge report and a Reddit Ask Me Anything thread from Sanjay Dastor, one of Boosted's original co-founders and former CEO. From what I understand, Lime acquired the design files, software and code, diagnostics, parts and test equipment. It's unclear how much Lime paid for these assets, but what Lime didn't get was physical product, leftover boards, leftover scooters, parts, bags, etc. A shop in San Francisco called Last Mile SF purchased the remaining inventory from Boosted and now has a website called Boosted USA where you can get legitimate Boosted products. The shop owner did an interview with an Eastgate YouTuber called Alien Rides, which I've linked below. If you're looking for OEM parts or even service for your board, I definitely recommend contacting Last Mile. As far as the future of Boosted boards goes, the company that I love and thousands of others around the world love, it's hard to say. The Verge article mentions a Lime executive by the name of Michael Hillman. I checked out his LinkedIn and he's got quite the resume. He left Boosted for Lime in January of this year, just a few months before Boosted shut down. Before Boosted, he was head of VR at Oculus. And before his Oculus job, he spent 15 years at Apple in charge of various hardware divisions. Who knows, maybe Michael himself knows how good boosted hardware is and maybe plans to re-release boards in the future. His banner photo on LinkedIn is a picture of the Rev and it makes sense. Lime is an e-scooter sharing company. It wouldn't surprise me if some of the tech found in the boosted Rev makes it inside a Lime scooter someday. But for now, all we've got are our boards, we've got each other, and we've got hope. If you're a former Boosted employee and want to share any cool projects you were working on at Boosted or working on now, definitely get in touch. My Twitter DMs are open. And with that, thank you for watching.